Found your earliest known relative, the cave woodpecker. This is the archaeological find of the millennium. I'll be rich and famous. Woohoo! But how am I going to get you to the museum? Better get a pecking. You were traveling alone. Uh, this is my, uh, 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 my uncle. Oh, yeah, hey, uh, I'm from a uh, uh, very foreign country. Uh, very friendly woodpeckers there and very clean. <laughs> oh, how utterly charmed. Charmed. I've been all over the world and I've never had my hand licked before. May I? May I? <laughs> Everyone simply must meet your uncle. <laughs> Toodles for now, Mr. Woodpecker. Now, look what you... <laughs> May I? Yeah, sure. I'll never win a prize. <laughs> Going to dinner. You behave. Huh? Uh, everything's a game with you, isn't it? Everything's a game. Everything's a game. Oh, yes. I couldn't agree more. And doesn't it get so tiresome playing by the rules all the time? Sweet. Ooh, you are a breath of fresh air, Woodpecker. Oh, let's eat our dessert first and have dinner after. You social saboteur, you. You social saboteur, you. Are you too nuts? Oh, this is 
is fun! Oh, this is fun! Hey, break it up! You're gonna get us kicked off this train! You! I knew you were trouble! Ticket, Woodpecker? Uh, 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 he's with me, Steward. Put his ticket, put his dinner, put this whole darn dining car on my tab. Then clean this place up at once so we can do it all over again. Oh! <laughs> 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 A minute. <laughs> Your cave woodpecker club will make a fine addition to our museum, Mr. Woodpecker. Is that all it's worth? Well, we do find a lot of these clubs in our digs. However, if you should ever come across one of these, you'd be absolutely set for life. <laughs> La Luna has arrived! <laughs> Dear sweet grandma, it's cold. Oh, yes. Cold and empty, La Luna. <laughs> like the heart and head of a certain fashion model. <laughs> huh? Huh? Ooh, ooh, La Luna! Oh, my La Luna! The goddess among mortals, the season's <laughs> high fashion masterpiece. The one of a kind and very bendable <laughs> Chickaboochie Canoochie fur. Ooh, ooh, ooh La Luna. <laughs> <sighs> it's not real fur, Benji. But what is real, anyhow? But I'll delve into that philosophical issue in my upcoming autobiography entitled, Yes, I'm Famous, Go Away! Find the perfect backdrop, Benji. La Luna and Chickaboochie Ganucci must shine like the stars that we are. Move that smoking cake of an engine before it gags my pores! <laughs> la Luna will look la luminous for this shoot. What's this? A fan! Even in this dreadful wasteland, La Luna's public seeks her out! Come forward, little penguin! <laughs> no, 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 darling. That's one of a kind. Perhaps some other memento will cheer you up. The autograph of La Luna. Never bathe again. <gasps> no! <laughs> Thankless fan. No one can produce the La Luna look like La Luna. A few red highlights and I shall be more perfect than me. Oh, perhaps just a smidge more. What the heck? My public deserves a new La Luna look. More red! Freeze! Why do you torment me like this? Although who could blame you for loving one so beautiful as me? My hair! My coat! I told you about the fur! 
Now, for your naughty behavior, you are banished from the luminescence that is La Luna forever! a restraining order as much as this! Oh, La Luna! What has that cruel fan done to your glorious skin tone? The perfect outfit can fix any problem. To Maple, to Papal, to Maxi, to Minnie, to Formal. <gasps> what? I have reached the end of my emotional runway with you, Penguin! Oh, no, you don't. Oh! Ah! Stop this thing! Ah! Oh! Gotcha, you little pest. Ow! Forecast didn't call for Rayon. Get back here with my fur, you freaky little fanboy! on that one, La. So, uh, how long till your camera ready? Two years! Oh, boy. Now what? That face! What a look! What an attitude! What inspiration! You will be the new model who launches a thousand fashion lines. Oh, yes. Oh, that's nice. Good. Oh, very good. Oh, so real. Oh, my God. And things are wonderful. Free. I got it. Oh! A hot new model has emerged on the fashion scene. The French call him simply Le Chillet, bringing a new style to haute couture the world over. trying to win my employee of the month badge to put right here. <laughs> I have made a bunch of tests to be sure you are Speed Demon Mountain ready. Yeah? First, the height test. <laughs> Here, here, and here to verify you've always dreamed of going on this ride. Initial there, there, and there that you promise to tell all your friends about this ride. And check every third pink page to indicate that you will not ride any ride but this ride while you are thinking about or riding this ride. Yeah? Let's go! <laughs> Oopsie. I almost forgot. 
Time for my psychological test. Say the first thing that comes into your minds. Fishy. Right. Sport coat. Fast rides. Yogurt. Let us ride the fast rides. You birdies have one track minds. Just like Wally, yeah? They're gonna put my picture here when I get employee of the month. Wow! Kids, let's get a picture with the next employee of the month. <laughs> Cheese! Sega boop! Taking the cholesterol exam yet? <laughs> oh, yoinky doinky. What? You again? Move on to the right one at a time. Your second, your third, and your last. Second, third, and last? Who's first? Safety is always first, especially with my new industrial strength requirements. Headgear, mouth guards, bulletproof vests, safety goggles, steel tip boots, shin guards, shoulder pads, UV protection. And the ever popular asbestos gloves. Now to be really sure you are safe. Wasn't that terrifying, yet harmless? Exit to the left and watch your step. We're gonna ride this ride the way Speed Demon Mountain intended. Say, Wally, that was so fun. But what if we were on that ride and a hurricane hit the park? Or say, a meteor? <laughs> Flaming fjords. I never thought of that yet. And, and what if there is an earthquake and then killer bees? But if that happens, then these could possibly happen. Hey, you don't have your iron lungs! Almost closing time. Let's get to the loony leap. your help in recommending me as the Speed Demon Mountain Employee of the Month. What? Was I the most friendly of all the park's employees today? We didn't see any other employees. I'll take that as a yes. How was my service on, say, oh. the rocket ride? We didn't have time for the rocket ride. Thanks to you. Hmm, perhaps next year. Uh, how was your experience with... No! No way! It can't be! Oh, the park is now closed. Thanks for coming. Please drive safe and come again. You want my recommendation, bub? You deserve to be called Employee of the Month, because with you, it takes a month to get on every ride. Uh, uh, <laughs> Get my clipboard! Ah! 
That's why you always buckle up for safety. <laughs> I'm taking my entry in the Hooray for Souffle contest over to the fairgrounds. While I'm gone, you have to babysit my niece. What? No way. Maybe you should get busy reviewing paragraph 3, subsection C, item 21A of your rental agreement. Ah! <sighs> Must babysit whenever needed or face eviction. Oh, man. She certainly looks uh, related. She's been at that book all week trying to earn a country cadet talent badge. Jeannie, <laughs> ah! Woody here is gonna help you find a talent while I'm gone. There better not be any problems, Woodpecker, or believe you me, there'll be problems. Ta ta. So, you uh, figure out your talent yet? Nope. Mind if I watch TV while you figure it out? Nope. Mind if I take a nap? Nope. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> what? What's the matter? What do you think I'm good at, Mr. Woodpecker? Bothering me. That, Mr. Woodpecker. Maybe you could show me that. <sighs> I'm good at napping. Watch. <laughs> yeah, what? My Country Cadets Handbook says woodpeckers are good with wood projects. Yep, yeah, I'm real good with wood. When I'm not napping. <laughs> Wood is not your talent. Well, not yet. Well, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No! Yeah! <laughs> hey, you can't cut down my tree for your talent badge. <laughs> then you have to help me find something else! Balling. We'll find a talent that's quiet! How about meteorology? Perfect. You study the weather, and I'll go study the inside of my eyelids. Back to what I do best. Hmm. I need a weather thing. I don't have a rooster. But I do have a woodpecker. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting windy. <laughs> Jeannie! <laughs> what am I doing up here? Helping me with my meteorology talent badge. Which direction do you think you're blowing now? be your talent. Are you sure? It's delicate, quiet work. Now go collect some bugs and then eh, study what they do. <sighs> Hello? Are you in there, bugs? Hello? Hey, what 
do you think you're doing, Missy? We live here. You could hurt someone with that kind of poking. I'm studying bugs. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> We're ants. We take food and we eat it. It's a living. Okay. No problem. Tango leader to Echo Base. We are go for Operation Deep Freeze. what your talent is, Genie. Sergeant, I know you're heading out on vacation. Well, the Antarctic Corps would like you to take it right here. But, sir, I was going to a warm tropical island. You scratch our back and we'll scratch yours, Hogwash. I'm assigning you to a priority one assignment. The military has been working on this secret biodome for over a year. What you're about to see is top secret, meant for your eyes only. Ah, <gasps> it's a paradise. Yes, it's the pinnacle of modern military science. Everything here, from the steam from the artificial volcano to the smallest grain of sand, is designed to nurture a single precious crop. I hope it's yams. I love yams. Whoa! Ultra Nanas! A bioengineered superfood with all the nutrients for the army on the moon. Oh, it's not yams. Sergeant, you are not to eat the bananas or touch the bananas. You are only to look at the bananas when you're feeding and watering them. Understood, sir. On second thought, you better not even look at him. Uh, sir, about my vacation. Enjoy it, Sergeant. As long as the structure is secure and the Ultra Nanas are thriving, you are free to enjoy all the dome's amenities. Carry on! Sir, yes, sir, CN, sundry, CN, sir! Vacation? Here I come. A little drip here and a little bitty drop there. And now it's time to unwind. Incoming! <laughs> Huh? Halt, you little bad burglar! You're transcending on government property! Wow! Gotcha! Penguin, you are about to receive a lesson in trajectory! Oh! 
I got you in my crosshairs, you little fruit looter! You can escape hogwash o' the jungle, did you? Well, no knick-knack, jingle jungling way, Pee-wee. You are hereby dishonorably discharged! Here you go, my little thirsty worsty. A drinky winky. And don't you worry, that bad boy penguin won't bother you anymore. Now it's time to play. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 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 Pilfering penguin's gonna fell up my furlough. Song Duda. Your vacation leave is permanently terminated until you fix that biodome top to bottom and regrow those ultra nanas. Now move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Move it. Work. I've been practicing all three of the big events. Swimming. <laughs> diving. <laughs> so, what do you say now, coach? Not interested. Did I mention the prize? The prize? The winners get a two-week tropical vacation on board the biggest party yacht in the world! <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's hit the beach and win that prize, Winnie! Hop to, hop to, hop to! <laughs> Welcome to the Big Beach Extravaganza! The thrilling ocean event that combines swimming, diving, and surfing! Oh, boys. This vacation prize package looks like heaven on earth. Oh! We got a race to win, Tweaky. Get your mind where it belongs. On women? On cheating. The first leg will be the mile swim. 
A sprint to the boy where the winner will claim the first of three flags. Eh, didn't sound so tough to me. <laughs> That's probably because I'm the one swimming. Good luck, sports. And get used to looking at this. Cause you'll be behind me staring at it the whole way. <laughs> no way. We're winning this race. Oh, that's rich! <laughs> Get ready to swim, Twiggy. Swim? Oh, no, bossy. I sink a lot. Oh. Don't worry. When you push this little button here, you'll become instantly unsinkable. On your marks. Get set. And go! <laughs> oh, what? vacation, don't you? Yeah, but just once I'd like to be the one putting rocks in your pants. Divers ready, set, and dive! Dive when he dies! Off you go! Wow! <laughs> goes to Winnie and Woody Woodpecker. That means we're down to the final event, surfing. Winnie, you do the surfing, I'll watch the cheating. These woodpeckers aren't getting turnpiked. No way. Oh, hello, boss. This ain't working so good. Quit your grousing. Now to take care of them woodpeckers once and for all. Oh, a shark! A shark! Knock it off. It's just me. Oh, I, not everyone can carry off that look, but you can, boss. Get ready, Winnie! There's something fishy going on out there. Ah, shark! Fishy like a buzzard shark. Call 
this paradise, huh, Woody? Only a pair of dimwits, Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
<laughs> Won't you have a cup of tea? Oh, yeah. I love tea. <laughs> it is the most civilised of all social practices, don't you agree? Uh, quite. I rank it right up there with... Uh, Get you off my tail, you freak! So then I said to the judge, a stolen hat? But, Your Honor, it's not a hat, it's shoulder pads! <laughs> you get it? Shoulder pads! Oh, that is rich! <laughs> well, if Basil wants to show his rare bird studies to old Professor Mustyworth, then I'll help him do just that. <laughs> About time you showed up, bird hound. A bit of a sticky wicket, this jungle, eh, what? Uh, Professor Mustyworth, you look different. Didn't you learn anything in my class? Why ever are you chasing some run-of-the-mill red woodpecker? What are you thinking, dog? Uh, 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 professor, uh, how, how did you, uh, I, I mean... When right outside your door is the extremely rare, buzzardous, stupidness. Look for yourself. <gasps> yes! I see him, Professor. Oh, yes! He must be the stupidest bird in the animal kingdom. <laughs> uh, so, uh, go make him your life's work. Yes, yes, I shall doggedly hound him to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I must have the basset! <laughs> <laughs> Woody Woodpecker always gets the last laugh. Salvage Hunter Smedley, the world-famous finder of lost undersea treasures, am about to fulfill my lifelong mission. These here little old X's mark the secret spots of the underwater treasure that's up for grabs to anyone who's smart enough to find it. I'm going to locate it all and retire rich, rich, rich on the sunny beaches of Tahiti. Undersea treasure? Here I come! Huh? Well, shiver my timbers. That's sailor talk. Are you a stowaway? Yes. You, penguin! Like my mama always said, good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> out a certain stowaway and keep him from stowing away on my beach chair. Permanent like. My high-tech diving suit enables me to stay underwater longer than most divers. This here pirate ship sank over 300 years ago. And I'll just bet there's a big surprise waiting inside of this little old treasure chest. <laughs> Pirate ghost! You again? Come back here and fight like a man, you little penguin! Yuck! 
coming with me, you miserable little... Ah! Oh, no, you don't. I have had just about enough of this horseplay. Get off my sub and stay off. Bon voyage, little penguin. Fifteen men on a seaman's chest. Yo ho hum in a barrel of fun. This here powerful undersea vacuum can collect twice the booty in half the time. Hmm. Why you? Give me back my key, you little vacuum clogger. The wreckage of this here old battleship might contain some historical like treasures. Even an expert salvage hunter has to be careful using dynamite to free him up. Hmm. Sounds like something's already a might bit loose hereabouts. In this case, it's not. That boy is really starting to rust my doubloons. Cease and desist before I desist you myself. Uh-oh. I'll just enter through the propeller shaft and surprise him to pieces. Yow! That does it, Penguin. It's Davy Jones' locker for you. Come back here, you little treasure trasher, you. Oh! No! Don't open that one! your names and tell us your games. Hi, I'm Woody Woodpecker. I like long naps on the beach, breakfast in bed, and... <gasps> I'm Ms. Meany. I was a Navy SEAL and I take no prisoners. Now that's the kind of doggy dog spirit our viewers love on Extreme Island. Okay, the first challenge is food gathering. Ooh. 
Whoever stores up the biggest food supply and keeps the other from stealing it wins round one! Hey! Yo, Carl, where's my trailer? And, uh, where's all the snacks they have around TV show sets? I'm famished. F finding food's part of the game. <laughs> I've been over every inch of this island. There isn't a pizza parlor or a Hasty Mart anywhere. <gasps> hmm. Maybe I gotta start shopping at Mother Nature's supermarket instead. Huh? What? This is my coconut tree! It's survival of the fittest, not the dim-wittest woodpecker. <laughs> Carl wants to see dog eat dog, huh? Oh. I'll show him woodpecker eat. Ugh. What an amazing job! Military training, I learned to find food in the most out of the way places. Well, 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 hey. Mr. Woodpecker. Looks like Meanie's kicking your ever loving beach covered bum, don't it? <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Ah. what we like to see. Two competitors going at it, mono a mono. Now, our next competition is a real test of fortitude. Out of my way, woodpecker. That volcano of prizes is mine. She just put some kind of guest away hurting on you, hey, Mr. Woodpecker? Out of my way, Carl. This woodpecker makes wide turns. Oh, home sweet home! What an amazing shelter! Is this yours, Meanie? Why, uh, yes! Yes, it is, Carl! Do I win? What do you got? Sunstroke? This is my house! Well, there you go. Looks like it is! Woody Woodpecker wins round two! But my house was here first! <sighs> well, looks like a tie game. And that means it's time for... The Gauntlet of Endurance! This obstacle course leads to the very top of our volcano of prizes. As a tiebreaker, whoever gets there first wins everything! What, Hacker? That does it! I'm gonna win. I can taste it! Woodpecker! Your tail feathers are mine! <laughs> Out of my way! I'm taking this volcano just like I took Pork Chop Hill back in the military! You want volcano? I'll give you volcano! up another explosive episode of Extreme Island. 
tune in next time when our new co-champions will face off against one another on a frigid, very remote island off the coast of Alaska! What? Not a chance! <laughs> wait! Wait, come back! The, the, the audience loves you, too! No, I mean, you, you, you'll get your own spin-off! Hey!